Nothing makes me feel better than comfort food, and nothing's more comforting than potato pancakes. So let's get cooking. The first thing I have to explain are the actual potatoes. This is the ingredient for potato pancakes. So I use a Yukon Gold potato for two reasons. It's a good quality potato, and the skin is very thin. So I don't have to peel it. And most of the nutrition in potatoes are just under the skin. So I keep the nutrition, I don't have to peel it, and it is a good quality potato. Excellent. The other potato I'm gonna use is sweet potato. I'm just gonna add one part sweet potato to three parts of Yukon Gold. So I have here about 10 ounce sweet potato and about 30 ounces of Yukon Gold potatoes. And what I'm gonna do is First, I have to peel this sweet potato. I'm going to use this machine to grate the potatoes because I have a good amount of potatoes and I don't want to grate them by hand. If you don't have a food processor with the grater attachment, you can grate them by hand in a box grater, with a, with a box grater. That's fine, that's fine. It's just a lot more work. And the first thing I'm going to throw in there is an onion. I have one onion peeled, cut in half, and I'm going to throw this in there first. Then, start with the sweet potato. When this gets too full, Empty it out. And what I do is I emptied it into a bowl about halfway filled with water. That'll keep the potatoes nice and white. Now I'm adding the Yukon Gold potatoes. I cut them in half just so that they fit in the processor. But notice I don't ha notice I don't have to peel them. And this is all the potato and the onion, all grated and sitting in water. Now I take another bowl here, and I'm going to squeeze the water out of these potatoes. A little by little, as much as fits in your hand, give it a good squeeze. See all that water? Give it a good squeeze. And that's going to prevent the potatoes from turning brown. Soaking it in water and then squeezing it out we'll make sure that the inside of the potato pancake is nice and creamy and white with just little specks of sweet potato. And that really looks very attractive and also tastes delicious. So it should be crispy outside and nice and creamy inside. I'm gonna require for this potato pancake four eggs. Okay, I added four eggs, and in, in putting the potatoes in the water, you're losing some starch. So I'm going to add back half a cup of flour. With some extra flavor, I have one tablespoon of onion powder and two teaspoons of salt. And that's it. Mix it up good. Really squish it together and it's gonna form a very like, it's gonna, the, the flour and the egg are gonna bind the potatoes together. That's kind of what you want. You don't want like a batter, a real batter. You just want the potatoes to be bound together. So when you fry it, it'll stay in the shape of a pancake. You see how when I make a shape, it stays like a pancake. See that? Okay, good. Classic potato pancakes are pan fried. That's what they are. Uh, you can try baking them. It doesn't come out exactly the same. Uh, but if you're health conscious and you cannot have anything pan fried, you can try baking them. 
but for me, for this purpose, I'm going to pan fry them because they're going to be crispy and delicious. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to use a tablespoon. I'm going to shape the potato pancake. Just like that. I'm going to drop the potato pancake right into the hot fat. Just like that. And it's going to sizzle. It's got to sizzle like that. And I'm going to repeat until the pan is nice and full of potato pancakes. I'm going to cook these till they're nicely brown on one side. I'll flip them over and cook them till nicely brown on the other side. About four or five minutes each side. And then I'm going to drain them on paper towel. Time to flip these over. Look at that color. Beautiful. We let these cook another four or five minutes. Then we're going to drain them on paper towel. Hey, it's been about five minutes. The color looks good. So let's get them out of the pan and out the paper towel. Now, don't these look good? Now, if you're going to have it with meat, then you need to serve with applesauce. That's traditional because you can't have uh, the dairy with meat if you're kosher. If you're not kosher, you can serve with anything. My other choice is sour cream or even better, how about some Greek yogurt? Greek yogurt with potato pancakes is an excellent combination. It's rich and tangy and goes really well with potato pancakes. Hey, this has been my pleasure to be here with you. If you really, really love this recipe, then you're going to love my oatmeal pancakes, light and fluffy and delicious. Check out that video and I'll see you there.